Barcelona, while there's still a huge club and there will be no shortage of managers uh, interested in that job, how many of those with real pedigree that as soon as another big job uh, opens up will, will be on their radar? Barcelona, given their financial troubles, given how poor this squad is right now, Sydney at the very least performing, I I'm not too sure that any of those preferred targets will want to take over this job, not right now. Uh, Sid, just while we do see Xavi's name as well, is there some issue between Joanne Laporta and Xavi? Because we've heard him saying that he doesn't think he's got the right amount of experience just yet, but we know that Pep Guardiola was put into a role without much experience at all, and that was under Laporta too. Yeah, and, and of course Laporta had had Guardiola as the B-team coach. I think he would very much like Xavi to coach in Spain for a while before taking over the Barcelona job. For what it's worth, I think Laporta would absolutely love Xavi to be the manager. But I think there's another element here, which is difficult to entirely put your finger on. But uh, put fairly simply, Xavi had aligned himself with Victor Font of course, was the other presidential candidate who lost to Laporta. Now, it's certainly true that once Laporta had thrown his hat into the ring, Xavi went very quiet, and he backed away from being a vociferous supporter of Font, but everybody knew that he was the guy that was going to be in charge of the whole sporting project under Font. Now, I think what I, the fact that Xavi backed away tells you that he didn't want to annoy Laporta, he wanted to still have the possibility of going to the club with Laporta, and he felt a degree of affection for Laporta from the last time that Laporta had been president and a degree of connection. And so, therefore, didn't want to be openly in line with another presidential candidate once Laporta had become a candidate as well. But Laporta, of course, knows that in the eyes of public opinion, in the eyes of most people who are Barcelona members and indeed Barcelona fans who are not members and therefore didn't vote but still support the club, they would still look at this and think, OK, but we know, in a way, that Xavi was Font's man. And I think that provides or, or, or imposes on Laporta a certain degree of... I wouldn't call it nervousness, and I certainly wouldn't call it rejection, but I think a, a, a certain degree of caution about taking that step, or at least about taking it just yet. Would a new coach make any difference, Sid, right oh, now? Well, that's the, key, that's the key question, isn't it? Uh, that is the key question. And I guess it's very, very difficult to answer that. Now, um, Kuman, of course, keeps on saying, we know what the problem is. It's financial. We've got to be realistic. He said the other day that if Barcelona were to finish in the high positions in La Liga, which we assume means top four, but we don't actually know what he meant, well, that would be a success, that we can't expect miracles in the Champions League. In other words, we can't win it. And so you say, well, if you take Laporta, uh, sorry, if you take Kuman at face value, you say, well, yeah, you're right. There are really big problems. There are huge financial problems at the club. The squad is slightly limited. That said, that kind of fatalistic attitude or defeatist attitude probably doesn't help, even if it's broadly true. That said, even within the context of the team they've got, I think there are some questions about, about Koeman, not least about the structure, about the style, about the whole, whole idea of a Barcelona identity. And then there's another thing, which is that if you have that, is the connection with the players not so good? And just as importantly, this very public falling out that we're seeing now between Laporta and Koeman now, I say this from the outside, obviously, but that can't, can't help but have an impact on the club, can it? It cannot be good for the club for this to be the dominant theme all the time, before every game, after every game. Every question is about that. If nothing else, a new coach comes in and changes that side of things, if only because for the time being, at least, he's got the backing of the institution. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.